Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, also known as Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, is a 2010 fantasy film directed by Chris Columbus. The film is the first installment in the Percy Jackson film series and is based on the 2005 novel The Lightning Thief, the first novel in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series by Rick Riordan. It stars Logan Lerman as Percy Jackson alongside an ensemble cast that includes Brandon T. Jackson, Alexandra Daddario, Jay Cable, Rosario Dawson, Steve Coogan, Uma Thurman, Catherine Keener, Joe Pantoliano, Kevin McKidd, Sean Bean, Dylan Neal and Pierce Brosnan. The movie was released to theaters on February 12, 2010 in the United States by 20th Century Fox. The film cost $95 million to make. In its opening weekend in North America, it ranked number 2 at the box office, making $38.8 million. Though it received mixed reviews from critics, the film grossed $226.4 million worldwide. The film was released on June 29, 2010 on DVD and Blu-ray. A video game based on the film developed by Activision was released for Nintendo DS on February 11, 2010. A sequel, Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, was released on August 7, 2013. Plot <inaudible> 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 At the top of the Empire State Building, Zeus meets Poseidon, accusing Poseidon's demigod son, Percy Jackson, of stealing Zeus' master lightning bolt. Poseidon reminds him that Percy is unaware of his true identity, but Zeus declares that unless his master bolt is returned to Mount Olympus in two weeks' time, war will be waged between all the gods. 16-year-old Percy struggles with dyslexia, but has a unique ability to stay underwater. On a school trip to a museum, Percy is attacked by Electo, a fury, who demands the lightning bolt. Percy's best friend Grover Underwood and his Latin teacher Mr. Brunner help scare off Electo. Mr. Brunner gives Percy a pen which he claims is a powerful weapon, and instructs Grover to take Percy and his mother Sally to Camp Half-Blood, a hidden summer camp for demigod children. There, they are attacked by the Minotaur, who seemingly kills Sally when Sally is unable to enter the camp. At Grover's suggestion, Percy uses Mr. Brunner's pen, discovering that is a sword, to fight off the Minotaur. After having no success with the sword, Percy kills the Minotaur with his own horn before fainting out of intense shock. Waking up three days later, Percy learns he is the son of Poseidon, Grover is a satyr and Percy's junior protector, and Mr. Brunner is the centaur, Chiron. Percy begins training of his demigod powers, which include water manipulation and healing, and meets other demigods, including Annabeth Chase, daughter of Athena, and camp leader Luke Castellan, son of Hermes. Percy is visited by an apparition of Hades, who reveals the Minotaur abducted Sally to the underworld to trade for the lightning bolt. Defying Chiron's orders, Percy sets out for the underworld with Grover and Annabeth. Luke gives Percy a map with the location of three green pearls belonging to Hades' wife, Persephone, which will allow them to escape the underworld. Percy is also given a pair of flying Converse All-Star shoes stolen from Hermes, and Luke's favorite shield. The trio search for the first pearl at the old and abandoned Auntie M's Garden Emporium in Leeds Point, which turns out to be the lair of Medusa. She tries to kill them, but Percy decapitates her. 
The trio take her head and a fistful of gold drachmas along with them for later use, along with the pearl, which had been attached to her bracelet. At the Parthenon in Nashville, Percy uses the flying shoes to retrieve the second pearl from the crown of the statue of Athena. They are confronted by the Hydra disguised as a group of janitors, who Grover turns to stone with Medusa's head. The trio arrives at the Lotus Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas to obtain the third and final pearl. After the cocktail waitresses have them sample the casino's signature dish, lotus flowers, they immediately forget their mission, until Poseidon abruptly speaks in Percy's mind, returning him to his senses. Percy frees Grover and Annabeth from the flowers' effects, they locate the final pearl on a roulette wheel and escape by stealing a prize Maserati from the casino lobby. Annabeth realizes the casino is the lair of the Lotus Eaters, who have been luring people into their trap since ancient times, and that they only have one day left to prevent the gods' war, as they were in the casino for five days. With all three pearls, Percy, Grover, and Annabeth enter the portal to the underworld behind the Hollywood sign, and pay Charon the drachmas for a ferry ride. In the underworld, Hades finds the lightning bolt hidden inside Luke's shield, revealing that Luke was the thief. Hades has Persephone feed the group to a gate of souls, but she tazzes him in retaliation for imprisoning her, and gives the bolt to Percy. As they only have three pearls, Grover remains behind as Percy, Annabeth, and Sally teleport to the Empire State Building, the entrance to Mount Olympus. However, before they can enter, they are ambushed by Luke, who reveals that he stole the bolt to demolish Mount Olympus and establish the demigods as new rulers of Western civilization. After a battle across Manhattan, Percy seemingly kills Luke and returns the lightning bolt to Zeus. Percy and Annabeth are reunited with Grover who has a new pair of horns, indicating his promotion to Percy's senior protector. Percy and Annabeth nearly kiss, but Annabeth tricks him and they continue to train. In a mid-credits scene, Sally kicks her abusive husband, Gabe Ugliano, out of her apartment. As Gabe walks into the kitchen to grab a beer, he finds the refrigerator locked, with a note from Percy not to open it under any circumstance. Gabe breaks the door open to find Medusa's head, turning him to stone. Topic Cast Logan Lerman as Percy Jackson, the demigod son of Poseidon, Brandon T. Jackson as Grover Underwood, Percy's protector, a satyr, Alexandra Daddario as Annabeth Chase, the demigod daughter of Athena, and Percy's romantic foil. J. Cable as Luke Castellan, the demigod son of Hermes, a traitor. Sean Bean as Zeus, god of the sky, thunder, lightning, king of the twelve gods of Mount Olympus and brother of Poseidon and Hades. Kevin McKidd as Poseidon, Percy's father, god of the seas, earthquakes, and horses. Steve Coogan as Hades, Percy's uncle, god of the underworld, the dead, and riches. Melina Kanakaridis as Athena, Annabeth's mother, goddess of crafts, domestic arts, strategic warfare, peace and wisdom. Rosario Dawson as Persephone, goddess of springtime and wife of Hades. Dylan Neal as Hermes, Luke's father, god of trade. Thieves, travelers, sports, athletes, and messenger of the gods of Mount Olympus. Erica Serra as Hera, goddess of birth, family, marriage, women, and queen of the twelve gods of Mount Olympus, sister and wife of Zeus. 
Stephanie von Fetten as Demeter, goddess of agriculture, fertility, and the harvest, sister of Zeus and mother of Persephone. Dimitri Lekos as Apollo, god of the sun, light, knowledge, healing, plague and darkness, the arts, music, poetry, prophecy, archery, and twin brother of Artemis. Honor Grauer as Artemis, goddess of the hunt, virginity, the moon, and all animals, and twin sister of Apollo. Sarinda Swan as Aphrodite, goddess of love, beauty, wife of Hephaestus and lover of Ares. Conrad Coates as Hephaestus, god of fire, forge, blacksmiths, craftsmen and husband of Aphrodite. Ray Winston as Ares, god of war, lover of Aphrodite uncredited. Luke Camilleri as Dionysus, god of wine, celebrations, ecstasy, and theatre. Uma Thurman as Medusa, a gorgon cursed by Athena. Pierce Brosnan as Chiron, also known as Mr. Brunner, a centaur who trains heroes at Camp Half-Blood, the immortal son of Kronos and brother of Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, Demeter, and Hera. Maria Olsen as Mrs. Dodds, Electo, a fury, servant to Hades. Julian Richings as Charon, ferryman of the River Styx, servant to Hades. Catherine Keener as Sally Jackson, Percy's mother. Joe Pantoliano as Gay Bugliano, Percy's stepfather. Topic Production In June 2004, 20th Century Fox acquired feature film rights to the book. In April 2007, director Chris Columbus was hired to helm the project. Filming began in April 2009 in Vancouver. Portions of the film were shot at the Parthenon in Nashville, Tennessee, that has a full-scale replica of the original Parthenon in Athens. The Lotus Casino sequence was filmed at the Western Bayshore Hotel in Vancouver in June 2009, and additional scenes of Percy, Grover and Annabeth driving to and from the casino were shot on the Las Vegas Strip and in front of the Fremont Street Experience, filming wrapped up on the morning of July 25, 2009, in Mission, British Columbia. Additional exterior scenes were filmed on location in Brooklyn, New York during the first week of August 2009. Digital intermediate work began in San Francisco in November 2009. Christoph Beck composed the score. Columbus has stated that the cast was chosen specifically with sequels in mind. I think with Percy Jackson it was a matter of finding the right cast to fit into these roles, sort of the perfect cast for these roles, because hopefully, God willing, we will go on to do other Percy Jackson films and you want the cast to grow with their characters." During production, Riordan was disappointed with the changes made to the story and warned the studio that it would likely alienate the readers of the book series that it was depending on to buy tickets. In two emails commenting at length on a draft of the script that he posted to his blog in 2018, he specifically warned the studio that trying to make the story more attractive to a teenage audience by aging the characters and including some profanity in the script might move a significant portion of the book's readers to leave the theater in disgust long before the movie ended. He also felt the introduction of Persephone's pearls as a plot device made no sense, having no basis in mythology and distracting Percy from his goal of recovering the stolen lightning. Reception
Topic: Box Office. The film opened on February 12, 2010, in 3,356 theaters. Its opening weekend box office results totaled $31,236,067 in the U.S., finishing at number three below The Wolfman, which opened at number two with $31,479,235 and below Valentine's Day which opened at number 1 with $56,260,707. The film had a strong opening weekend for its genre, posting the highest opening weekend for a fantasy film not from the Harry Potter, Chronicles of Narnia, or Lord of the Rings series. As of September 14, 2010, it grossed a domestic total of $88,768,303 with $137,728,906 elsewhere in the world, bringing it to $226,497,209. Topic: Critical response. The film received mixed reviews from critics. It holds a 49% approval rating on review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, based on 142 collected reviews, with an average score of 5.3/10. The site's consensus reads. Though it may seem like just another Harry Potter knockoff, Percy Jackson benefits from a strong supporting cast, a speedy plot, and plenty of fun with Greek mythology. It also holds a Metacritic score of 47 out of 100, based on 31 sampled reviews, indicating mixed to average reviews. Kenneth Turan of the Los Angeles Times described the film as standard Hollywood product unadventurous and uninteresting. The reviewer for the Washington Post thought, the movie suffers by taking itself a little too seriously. It's not just that it's a lot less funny than the book. It's also a lot less fun. On BBC Radio 5, Mark Kermode criticized the similarity of the film to director Chris Columbus's Harry Potter films, likening it to a Harry Potter parody book and dubbing it Benjamin Sniddlegrass and the Cauldron of Penguins. This comment later sparked a satirical fan creation with precisely that title, narrated by Stephen Fry. Topic: Awards and nominations. Topic: Soundtrack. All music composed by Christoph Beck. Songs featured in the film that were not included in the soundtrack. Topic Video Game A video game based on the film developed by Activision was released for Nintendo DS on February 11, 2010. GameZone's Michael Splechter gave it a six tenths, saying, Percy Jackson might not make a splash when it comes to movie tie-in games, but fans of turn-based combat might find some redeeming qualities in this otherwise bare-bones game." On Metacritic, which assigns a normalized rating out of 100 based on reviews from critics, the game has a score of 56 citing mixed or average reviews. Based on six reviews. Topic Home Media 
The film was released on June 29, 2010 on DVD and Blu-ray. The movie itself charted at the top of the charts DVD sales with $13,985,047 in revenue in its first week. As of October 2011, the movie had sold 2,087,368 DVDs with over $37 million in sales. Topic Sequel In October 2011, 20th Century Fox announced a standalone sequel based on the second book, The Sea of Monsters. The film was released on August 7, 2013.